Vanessa Ruck, the girl on a bike, and I'm about to go on a mega European road trip. I'm headed to the European Hog Rally in Slovenia on an organized trip with Tour One, and I'm gonna be putting the Pan America through its paces on a road trip. Let's go. we hit the road I want to really quickly talk you through some of the things that I've done to get the 2022 Pan America Harley Davidson ready for 10 days on the road and over 2,000 miles so the first most important thing probably is my kit I've got the official Harley Davidson soft panniers on the back and a tank bag on the front that gives me loads of luggage space and I'm actually pretty impressed how much fits in them and they come off really easily the tank bag enables me to have my passport phone etc really handy the next thing is my phone which you are filming and watching me on but if you come here you can see I've got a quad block mount on the handlebars this also has a wireless charging mount it's very easy to click on click off have it handy to take images and stuff and of course keep my phone battery going so I'm gonna be doing thousands of miles across six different countries. So the rubber on the bike is really important. It's the one thing with contact to the tarmac. So I've gone for some trusted Michelin Scorcher tires. They're fresh front and back. Then gonna be looking at my body. I'm of course wearing all the riding protection, but something we often forget to think about is our ears. I've got some custom fit guard ear molded plugs that enables me to still hear, talk, have my intercom on but make sure that my hearing is going to be protected for the future the final must-have item on a road trip for me is my cardo intercom this enables me to listen to music have satellite mapping through my helmet and most importantly chat to my friends as i'm riding along and i would say that's probably the key things that i've done to get the bike ready to go i've got a full tank of gas and now i'm off to folkestone to meet the group with tour one and we're gonna hit the road, head to Europe. Woohoo! I've made it to Buxton. Decoded the bike, heading to my room, and uh, it's Eurotunnel first thing tomorrow morning. The essential tour piece of equipment. We are all successfully checked in. So the life hack uh, that we've been given is we've got to have our little ticket on the bike to go on the train. Bulldog trip holds it on. I'm gonna to have to count how many bikes we are because we are quite a few. Uh, this isn't everyone, but you can see the line down there. We are about to be getting on the train. Now the Euro Tunnel is a train that goes from the UK to France under the water. And no, you can't see the fish. drive on whatever vehicle you're in and then you sit here so we're going to be here standing around with the bikes for about half an hour and um, this is where you would see the fish if there were fish but obviously it's a tunnel there are no fish if there were fish we'd be drowning uh france here we come We've just refueled, had coffee, lunch. I'm not gonna do much filming today because we're pretty much slogging out some motorway miles to get through the north of France because it's not the most exciting road. Sorry if you live in France, but we're trying to get through and onto the more exciting stuff tomorrow. So yeah, I'm not gonna be filming much. Um, we'll probably just magically appear at the, the next stop. seriously finds the best places to stop. This is coffee break. Gorgeous rooms and hotels is one of the reasons why I love tour one trips. Look at it. Look at the size of that bed. We have six nominations. Oh my god. <laughs> Suzanne. Oh. Tiny bit of 
background. Basically, there is this crazy little unicorn that actually moves and moves around, and it's it's kind of like the wooden spoon of the trip. And every day, the person that's made like the dick of the day comes to mind because it's snowboarding terms, but we shouldn't use that word. Like numpty of the day gets the prize, and yeah, Gary the tour leader is just being unanimously voted for the unicorn for the day. bikes on this trip I'm pretty excited there are five ladies here are two of them yeah um uh, yeah all on Harleys there are also five Pan Americas yeah and I'm actually surrounded by three of them right now it's breakfast time so let's chat and then we're gonna hit the road so today is in two halves this morning we're gonna ride some faster roads this afternoon we're gonna ride some twisty roads so mm. we've got 237 miles to cover today um, this is why we need to use the faster roads to make some progress. baby epic based on where we're going. After a morning and half of pretty much slogging it on some bigger straight roads, we finally made it to the twisties, which is what this trip is all about. And look at that view. It's only to get better and better and better as far as views and riding conditions as we continue to go towards Slovenia as well. Oh yeah, beautiful. buzzing we've just hit the first twisty 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 are uh, just so green and lush and views and hairpins and sweeping corners and everything so it's my first time doing a proper road trip on the pan america uh, you can see my proper off-road review adventure on my youtube channel uh, i'm not going to go into full decisions on how i think it handles on a longer road trip yet uh, but my initial thoughts are definitely comfortable we've done some motorway slogs in the last couple of days i think we're at 600 and something miles already uh, but initial feeling into those corners is you can just wang it around and with that 1250 engine and the sort of renowned harley tour oh, pull out of those corners absolutely loving it feeling really good uh, tour one and gary obviously have organized all of the route for this stuff and i'm so excited that we've now got to the roads that they are raving about uh, it's a coffee stop now and then we're going to carry on with a little bit more twisties for the afternoon overnighting in france um, and then i think we're heading into even bigger roads tomorrow Ooh. seeing new places and it means that we're staying in a different hotel every night, eating in new restaurants, seeing the culture in uh, different countries. So today we're going to be in France, which is where I'm right now, and then we're heading into Switzerland. It means that basically we're packing up our kit as well every night. So I just lift my soft panniers off the bike and 
we go into the room and it's proving super easy. It works. Uh, I'm obviously scrambling trying to get ready because I've got breakfast in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, got some warm clothes. I think we're, we're heading into the Alps today, which means we're going to go into more altitude. More altitude generally means it's a little bit chillier. So I've got a couple of extra jumpers handy towards the top of my pannier. And uh, I know I'll be warm. Whew. Another day on tour. <laughs> Currently hiding from the rain, although it was absolutely tracking it down when we came in here to have a coffee break. It appears to have stopped raining. I don't want to jinx it though because we've got a full day of riding and it's very possible that it will carry on raining. But we're enjoying a really nice coffee right now. Yeah, I definitely jinxed us on the, uh, the rain because it is. of how epic this riding is. Yeah. Give me another hug. Oh, I can't. Mm. This is... You're on the top of Grimsall Pass and I gotta show you the road that we are gonna be riding in a minute because it's just out of this world stuff. See down there? That is where we're about to ride. room for the night. Check out this! But the most bit is the view out here. So let's see if I can get this door open. Oh my goodness. This is what it's about. Swiss Alps. Woohoo! I think it's very much time for a nice cool glass of water. Absolutely fantastic day. We've done about I think 180 miles with the vast majority of that being like twisty mountain passes, so many switchbacks, and actually the roads have been really quiet, so it's been beautiful, and um, amazing energy in the team. Oh, the rain this morning, actually, looking back, the rain this morning was pretty wet. There's some people with wet knickers, let's just say that. Actually, I was driving. Woof. Over and out for the day.
feels so much better. I am showered, changed, refreshed and uh, dry. Oh, just reflecting on the days so far, we're in our second country of the trip. And I think one of the things that really blows me away about these kind of adventures, when you have someone like Gary at all and organizing them, is the research that's gone into finding the roads that you're riding. We did have like the motorway slog right at the beginning to get us to these good roads, but some of these roads and the passes and the views, the places that we stopped for coffee, I don't know. I can't even imagine how long it would take me to sit down and do the research and try and figure them out. And I don't know, life's really busy, so I so appreciate having that knowledge from someone else. Like right now, we're in this gorgeous little Swiss village with just a bit overwhelming it's so incredible I can see snow on the tops of the mountains and a beautiful cloud drifting in you know one of those moments in life where you just take really deep breaths and go the world is beautiful I'm just gonna take a few moments to enjoy this and then I'm going for dinner I totally forget to get my waterproofs back off the bike and so I just popped out to the car park. It's such a wicked animal, Pan America. We had so much rain this morning, put it in rain mode and it's amazing how the whole bike just goes, ah, oh, let's stay calm, let's keep you safe. The, the, the traction, the throttle, everything just goes into let's have a really safe time mode. Uh, I realized that I actually really enjoy it on sports mode even in the rain because it's got that all the power right there and as long as you're gentle with it it's okay but it's really nice to know that it has those settings uh, to keep you safe anyway um there's a the pan i'm gonna pick up my waterproofs and then it is dinner because i'm actually already four minutes late whoops <laughs> This is the man behind these epic trips. We're going to crown each other. Or you crown you after me. <laughs> Bonkers. <laughs> Cool, another morning in the Alps. And look at the view. Good morning. Well, the kit to the bikes, they actually work really well. It's like sitting over the shoulder. I just look like a donkey. So it works out really good. Woo. Everyone's already out here keeping up. And there is my steed for the day. I hit naked because I have the bags. Let's get them on. Got some nice sharp bends, uh, but uh, so first thing this morning we ride right across to the eastern side of Switzerland. We're in about the middle this morning, and then in this afternoon we're in Italy. Um, and on this entire tour, I've ridden about 95% of the roads. But this first section is completely new to me. I've never ridden this road that way. That way, but not from here. So, um. Ooh, it's Stelvio Day. You will know this lake as it is the one uh, with a church tower sticking out from the water. I've been there what? numerous times, yeah. yeah. It's got a steeple. Okay, and we oh, see yeah. that after we've eaten. Uh, oh. Lunch is it Gastoff Martha, book for 150. Martha? Martha, Martha. 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 Book we'll for 150. We're going to Austria. No, where did you say Italy? Italy. Go off to Italy! Cool. Yeah. Okay. Fourth country of the trip. Okay. Let's do it. Saddle up, ponies. Look at that river. 
That is going to be some cold glacial melt right there. I'm going to show you one of the reasons why Gary's stores are so epic. This is the view. It's you. It's, yeah, yeah, it's the view. I'm going to show you one of the reasons. It's me. It's me. It's me. No, we're going to look that way yeah. at the view. keep up either we're in Austria now so we've gone from the UK to France to Switzerland now we're in Italy no so now we're in Austria and then we're gonna be in Italy in like an hour's time <laughs> this tour is amazing technically at the halfway point but not the halfway point because that side that we just come up has the most corners and it's basically like bram 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 corner and a corner uh yeah that's the rest of the crew coming up uh and that was absolutely epic i had a um a sporty bike on my tail the whole way and he couldn't get past so i was like you can go past me if you can get past me but um he couldn't get past me so i'm pretty proud of that so for all those people that say hi davidson's Pan Americas can't corner, you can't bend them. You just gotta, you just gotta like have the power to lay them down, bend them around, put the power in. They go around corners. I can say that for sure. And that, woo, is what. And off and off and down. We're at 2,429 meters. Is the top of the pass. So uh, I guess just up there somewhere. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. The best bit is really, well, we're a bit over halfway because we've done most of the corners, but we're halfway. We've got to go down. <gasps> I'm going to be doing corners in my dreams. Like this. Get back, back. 
the day down. So we are at a hotel in Bormio in Italy. We have done the most epic riding possible. Every single bit of today was like woo, 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 woo. And we're going to a steakhouse for dinner. So I think I'm pretty much in heaven here with Gary on tour one. Uh, Suzanne's here as well. Come give me a squeeze. She might have cried a couple of times in the mountains because they were so epic. Uh, it's just breathtaking. <laughs> breathtaking! Might have left my bag with my passport in it at the lunch stop. So tomorrow morning, Mum and I, Suzanne, I'm going to go on a mission. I'm going to go neon back to Austria. We're in Italy now. Get my passport and then go neon back and meet them for lunch in Italy. And then carry on the adventure. We are a mass of bikers off the bikes. Although, okay, we've all spread out. It does, it's not a mass of bikers right now, is it at all? They're not even behind me. But they're dis dispersed into the future. We're wandering through uh, Bormio. We're not really wandering because we're on a mission. We have dinner reservations at a steakhouse that uh, I actually came to last time I came to Bormio on a tour with Tour One, Gary. And it was so good. And we're all going there again. Very excited, it's exciting belly. I've earned it. And I also have some very exciting news that I'm going to tell Gary in a minute about tomorrow and my little mess up with passport. Hello. It's I have really good news. What's that? So you know how I left my passport somewhere? Uh, how could you do that? And you know how I have to go get the passport? Yes. Well, Suzanne's going to come with me. And guess what route it takes us? Stelvio Pass. <laughs> breakfast we're all down here I'll show you to be fair absolutely beautiful little Italian ski chalet but obviously it's summer so there's no skiers so there's no riders uh, we've got a three hour 45 to go and get my passport unicorn is going to be with me <laughs> uh, we get to see Stelvio again so more Stelvio riders it's time to go there we go unicorn we're together for the day. complete that was amazing we passed four cars and one group of bikes which we possibly maybe overtook <laughs> um on the whole of going up stelvio and down the other side that is the time to do stelvio people first thing in the morning super early but we made it to what we at uh, martha gerson mark whatever the lunch stop and we're gonna get my passport i left my bag and my passport yesterday thank you so much for keeping it safe Oh, I'm still... oh, I need to power into it. Morning. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, we were in. Woohoo! We were in. Bormio. 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 Oh, so we got to do Stelvio again. Okay. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> You go with Gary. Oh, for the lunch. Oh, but, oh my goodness. Look that way. I'm blown away by the view. Lost for words. But <laughs> looking down off the view, we can see the 
hairpins in some of the roads that we've done. I don't know if you can see in the background over there. It traverses around the edge of the mountain and then down here, it looks like some kind of real life scale electrics being on top of some kind of F1 track kind of view. Um, we're obviously ahead of the rest of the group because we went on the um, unicorn mission to get my passport. So we've been riding on our own all morning. They're going to be coming up and we're all going to congregate here for lunch. crying again it's just it's amazing that's all it is it's just really truly amazing it's epic riding unbelievable scenery i just i'm in mean, awe oh, that's all yeah hmm. it's not much like this is there the bit that really nails it is the fact that we're doing all this the scenery the roads the stops but you've also got really good food because <laughs> I, I like food yeah. <laughs> and good, good coffees and good viewpoints and it's all just wrapped up <sighs> we're just gonna stay here and stare at this for a while so you probably can just we'll see you after lunch We're back in the rain. It's raining. It's gonna be quite hairy riding back down from here in the rain. afternoon from lunch we as a team decided to uh, not stop at the scenic stop-offs because it was raining that much uh, we made it in we're all kind of in the in the garage Gary always makes sure that there's secure parking uh, wherever we are little unicorn <laughs> I will thankfully be passing him on today but he's very mucky and very wet I can probably ring him out actually I'm not sure the electrics are gonna work but part of my punishment was to ride all day with him strapped so I did. You. That is a. That is a restaurant with a view. Um, preference and table. Do you know? Oh wow! It's incredible, isn't it?